Trauma totes, let's talk about them. Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another episode of Parasitology series. In today's lecture, we'll be talking about trauma totes. If you haven't watched my Sestot series, find its link in the description or in the top right corner. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comment section. Let's get into trauma toads. These are flukes, parasitic flatworms. They are internal parasites of mollusks, for example, snails and vertebrates. For example, human beings. Traumatodes are further classified as luminal traumatodes and tissue traumatodes. Location of traumatodes. They are found in gastrointestinal tract and biliary tract, blood vessels, lungs, and bladder. Lecture outline. I have introduced you guys to the traumatodes. Now we will discuss a classification of parasites and we will talk about classification of platyhelminthes. Morphology of traumatodes, their epidemiology, hosts, transmission, life cycle, diagnosis, and treatment. Parasite, I have a detailed video on parasitology. Its link is in the description or in the top right corner. Parasite is further classified as protozoa, for example, Antamoeba histolytica, and helminths, for example, Tinea solium. Helminths are further classified as platyhelminthes, the flatworms, for example, Tinea saginata, and nematodes, roundworms, for example, Enterobius vermicularis. Platyhelminthes, flatworms, are further classified as cestodes, the tapeworms, for example, Diphilobothrium latum. I have a detailed video series on cestodes. Find its link in the description or in the top right corner. And traumatodes, flukes, and this upcoming series is on traumatodes, so stay tuned. Traumatodes are further classified into schistosoma, clonorchis, and paragonimus. There are some traumatodes of modern importance. We'll also be discussing them at the end of this traumatode series. Morphology. The shape of traumatodes is flat, as you can see there. They are oval or elongated worms and leaf-like. Size. They vary in centimeters from about 8 or 9 centimeters. Outer surface of Traumatodes is called tegument that contains microvilli which helps protect the worm, which acts as a nutrient absorptive surface. Adult worm has an anterior and a posterior sucker. Anterior sucker is called oral sucker and the posterior one is called ventral sucker. Both these suckers are useful in maintaining the attachment. There is this structure that is called muscular pharynx that makes up the mouth part. With its help, traumatodes can suck food from the host. Here you can see this is the anterior, the oral sucker. This is the posterior, the ventral sucker. This is its muscular pharynx that is making up its As mouth. The male reproductive organs, for example, this vas deferens, and the female reproductive organs, for example, uterus, here, this one. That is why this organism is called hermaphrodite. This is its outer surface. That is called tegument. Epidemiology. Traumatodes that cause human disease are not endemic in the United States. However, immigrants from the tropical areas, especially Southeast Asia, are frequently infected. The life cycle of medically important traumatodes involve a sexual cycle in humans, which are its definitive hosts, and asexual reproduction in Freshwater snails, which are its intermediate hosts. Transmission. Transmission to humans takes place either via penetration of skin by the free-swimming cercariae of schistosome, or via injection of cysts in undercooked or raw fish, or crabs in clonorchis and paragonimus infection, respectively. Life cycle. Self fertilization takes place because this organism is hermaphrodite except for schistosomes. Traumatodes are released to the outside in sputum if they were present in lungs and were causing infection there. They are released to outside in urine if somehow they reached the bladder and in feces if they were causing infection in GI, the gastrointestinal tract. Treatment. The treatment of choice for all these three species is schistosoma. Clonorchis paragonimus is prosecontal. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. If you have any suggestion, feel free to leave them below in the comment section. 
don't forget to connect with me on all of my socials i've got my instagram i've got my twitter and i rarely upload blogs till next time assalamu alaikum